Hello and welcome back to another bogus tutorial. This time we're going to talk about getting repeatable results with your simulations. And to help explain what I'm talking about, I've quickly gone ahead and set up this scene where I have a few objects instanced to a particle system. If you want to know more about randomly instancing objects to your particles, you can click this annotation or check out the link in the description. But if I hit play, I have this particle system, which is in numeric, uh, displaying its IDs. So you can notice that one has a pyramid, four has a cylinder, and two has a cylinder. And if I hit rewind and play again, now each particle has a different object. Rewind again, different again. And eventually you're going to come across a situation where you really like your simulation as is. And, of course, caching is eventually going to get you a system that does the same thing every time. But in order to, to do that, say I liked this example, for instance, if I, I have to hit cache now, right? So if I hit rewind and hit cache, I mean, this is the result I was going to get, which isn't the reason, or isn't the, uh, the effect I was going for. So you can use the seed command to help you out in this situation. So if I open up my expression editor here, you can see I have a custom index set to a random value between 0 and 5. And the way random works is it picks kind of a set of numbers, and every time you rewind your scene, it picks a new set. So in order to get Maya to pick the same set, it's a simple command seed id at the beginning of your expression. So if I hit edit and I rewind and I hit play, you'll see one has a pyramid and four has a plane, two is a cylinder. Rewind again, same results. So now we have repeatable results, but what if I don't like those? You can go in here and multiply your ID by say five and rewind and we're getting different results, but if I rewind, they're going to be the same results again. So it's a pretty neat trick to do um, to to uh, help you direct your simulations here. I mean, I after you're done, you're still going to want to cache everything just to make extra sure it stays the same. But this will give you a little bit more flexibility to get results that are uh, a little bit more predictable. The cool thing about seed is any time you use another random command, it's going to work for any other attribute. So let's set up a rotation quickly. So if I add another custom attribute under add dynamic attributes, I'll add orient and it's a vector per particle. Add it. We can close that. get out our expression editor and just let me quickly refresh my selection here we have our orient attribute here if I do creation expression and I'll just copy this down Too many equal signs, there we go. And if I plug this into my instancer under the rotation type, or excuse me, rotation, if I rewind, you can see they're rotated now. And to see what rotation they're getting, I'll change their display type to under shading. If they're in numeric, you can kind of display any attribute you want, which is pretty helpful for troubleshooting. If I type orient, we can see the X rotation is about 118, just a little bit less than that. 202 in the Y and 228 in the Z. So if I rewind again, 
we're getting those same numbers again and again so if you need to direct your particles systems to be very specific this is just a really handy way to do that and make sure you get repeatable results before you start your cache so I hope this was helpful if you found it to be helpful please like and subscribe and share with anybody else you might think this might work for thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video